The Edmund J. Safra Synagogue in Manhattan is what I would call the center of life. In the city that doesn't sleep, neither do we. You can feel the warmth in this building immediately, and I could tell you that it went from a house to a home. He's made this synagogue into a center on the Upper East Side. The synagogue is literally bursting at the seams. It's become the epicenter of Torah in Manhattan. So if you're looking at like a, a stock chart and you'd see like exponential growth over here, it's been unreal. The Safra Synagogue, it's a world that you can't describe in one word. We have people that come all around the world just to come here. They have the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, and they have Safra. And being part of this shul makes me like, like, like I had no words. Like, it's just, this is the place where I belong. You walk into the Beit Knesset and it's overwhelming, it's beautiful. The ceiling, the pillars, it's impressive. And it's an incredible testament to Edmund Safra Lava Shalom and the dream that he had to be able to build a magnificent place for the Sephardic community of Manhattan. Unfortunately, he never got to see this dream become a reality, but his wife, Lily Alea Shalom, she poured her heart and soul to be able to ensure that everything really was at the standard of the generosity and the spirit that her husband really intended it to be. I grew up in Manhattan. As a child, we didn't really even have a, our own shul here. This building was built when I was like a young teenager, and it was so nice to have our own beautiful shul. When we first opened up, we didn't even have a minyan. It's a huge revolution from where we started till today. Even the first year it was tough. Now we have three minyan. A Beit Knesset is not enough. Praying is not enough. The center of a Jewish person's life has to be the Torah. We needed something more. Last year, Soli Asa, our president, said, Rabbi, all the classes we've got here, we should call this a Torah center. Rabbi Farhi brought, as his team of amazing rabbis, the idea that Learning Torah is the real meat and potatoes of who we are and how our traditions move forward into the generations. There's an environment of love, of learning, of growth, and I think it's really to the credit of the rabbis, the leadership, and of course the community members. I think the Safra Synagogue really is a testament that in this very big city you could really, really have it all. There aren't enough hours in the day. I'm teaching so many classes. The other rabbis here are teaching so many classes. And as much as we're giving, they want to come and learn more. We have practically every age group, every whatever class you want, whatever interests you have in Torah, we have all of that. Uh, we literally have, it's like a train station, a class is, around the clock. We're constantly growing and expanding and we're excited to see what the future is gonna bring. The Torah Center and the Safra Synagogue means everything to our family. There's a multitude of classes for the children, for the parents, for couples. It allows us to come together as a community. You actually feel like you're part of something. It's incredibly inviting and incredibly warm to know that they know uh, how to be accommodating to young families, young professionals, singles. There's events throughout the year that really open the doors to all the different demographics of our community and really give a little something for everybody. Literally, you can start your day with Safra and you can end your day with Safra just like I have. To move from a place where you're getting a couple of people to come for a class to 300 people on a Shabbat afternoon, four different Gemara classes every day, to classes for grandmothers and classes for bar mitzvah and bat mitzvah kids. That has been the explosion of the Torah Center in this community. The future of this synagogue is reflective of the future of this community. We are pioneers. We are fighting against the wind to carry the torch of Torah and pass it to our future generations. They've done such a great job with the synagogue to bring everybody together and to want us to learn more. And we're expanding out of this place. We have no more room. You come in here on a Shabbat, you can barely get a seat. You're really appealing to people. Things are spreading out, things are growing. And in order for that to happen, the community has to give it support. The more we grow, the more we need to feed the machine. And I have to ask every single person, not to donate money, but really to partner in the dissemination of Torah that's happening from this building. We're really reaching out to everyone to be a partner and support 
the future of this community and support the future of all our Israel because we are the center of the city. We need everyone to join us in helping to support the Torah learning. We know that we could build this Beit Knesset to be bigger and bigger and bigger every year. So Hashem should bless all of us to be able to do as much as we can. But God always says, I'll help those that help themselves. Help me help you. Help the Beit Knesset. Help the Torah Center. Ultimately, you're not investing in us. You're investing in your own children, in your own future, in the future of Am Yisrael, in the future of this community.